What's up guys, Nate Famous Racing Customs here doing a quick update on the Monaco project. Um, so, now I've decided I am going to do the Pro Street and uh, I've got to figure out a few things like with the interior tubs. Um, I have to do a combination um, because um, the... Uh, you can't see. Um, even though they're very faint mold lines, there's still a very distinct mold line right there that's too far forward to be a, um, a coupe door panel. So um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I think what I'm going to end up doing is using um, the door panel out of the uh, 67 Chevelle. If they're roughly about the same size, I can trim everything down and uh, move it all back the way it needs, it needs to be. Um, doing some stuff with the uh, the original engine for the Monaco. I'm actually going to use the Willis Co or the Willis pickup heads and valve covers and some probably some miscellaneous parts out of here. Um, and remember, I'm I'm going to try to do a twin turbo setup, which means I have to make my own turbos, and I'll be looking on YouTube because I know that there's a few uh, videos out there on how to make the turbos for them. Um, so, uh, next up is, uh, one of, another one of the major things I needed to do was, um, obviously the Chevelle is a Chevrolet and the Monaco is a Dodge. Well, the Chevelle came with, um, these wheels here, um, that have the Chevy symbols for lug nuts. And if you want a close-up look. Which you really can't see. Alright, perfect. Awesome. So, anyways, what I've done here was... Um, everybody remembers the Dart, uh, which had the five-spoke wheels. Um, actually took... These are the backings to them. Um, but I'm using the 41 Willis Coupe wheels on the Dart now. And so I have um, these Krager type wheels here, um, which I'm going to leave them gold. Actually, I'm I'm leaving the faces of them gold. So what I ended up doing was <clears throat> taking the rear ones and. Um, the rear rims with the Chevy symbols, which that's one of them right now, um, and the rim for the uh, the the Krager style rim, and set them both. This is a piece of just it's my kind of like my little portable workbench um, when I'm doing stuff and I want to sit down like on my bed and watch TV or something. I bring this out and I work on it, um, but it's a very very flat surface. So I laid them side by side, carefully um, spun this while I had a knife on the edge of the other wheel um, on the face of it, um, and then carefully cut them out and glued the forward half onto the, the existing rim. They came out to be roughly the same size. I think I was off just a little bit because my first one that I did, the cut wasn't exactly straight, but you you can't notice it. Um, so then the end result of it is I'll probably have to show it when it's not. Hang on, just a second here. So, oops, there's your end result. A very nice looking de deep dish that you really can't see the line on it. Um, I'll do one without the light so you can get a, a much clearer uh, look. But man, it that looks super sweet. So. Um, 
And it's not, I guess, you know what, it's, it's not something that I came up with on my own. Um, I, it's something that I've, I've always wanted to try to do, but I've always been very scared um, to do just because I didn't want to ruin, you know, it's like if I, you know, if I ruin the Chevy rims, you know, whatever, I ruin the Chevy rims. The only problem is, is then I'm out those deep dish wheels, um, and you kind of need them for those big fat meats and for them to look right. That was one of the things about the dart that I didn't like so much was that it was just that rim shoved into a slick, you know, um, so there really wasn't, there really wasn't, it really just didn't seem realistic to me, um, so that's always been my problem with it, and I've wanted to change the dart, the, the front end ride height of the dart for quite some time, um, I didn't realize that I had made it too low until after the model was done, I didn't mock it, I just cut it and moved them, that was it. And just hope for the best. Um, so this time around, that's the reason why it's still um, in pieces because I just haven't gotten around to really working on it too much. Um, but it is due for, for the body to come off. Um, possibly a color sand. Well, first of all, I've got to let the body soak which kind of scares me about the decals coming off because I painted future on it and I didn't do a very good job with it and it's just time for it to start looking better again um, I need to take some time and freshen it up just a bit because um, that was the first model getting back into the community um, so yeah, so that's working out. Um, like I said, right now I got the Chevelle interior tub, which looks okay, but it does sit way too far forward. Um, just entirely too far forward. Um, so, uh, but it's something I wanted to play with, but I wanted to get the wheels done so the wheels would be done and I wouldn't have to worry, you know, one less thing I have to worry about. So I got the wheels and tires done. Um, they're ready to go. They're glued in, super glued in, and uh, just for a good measure, I let them dry for 24 hours. I, they were solid in there, and I went ahead and shoved them in the rim just to see what it looked like. And then I got excited and had to do an update video. Um, and then, uh, so, tomorrow or the next day, I'll pull them back out, and I'll do another bead of super glue just on the outside of the rim just to be doubly sure that it is in there uh, good and tight um, but that's pretty much how I want it to look um, and I'm pretty sure that's about as far as it will go too I mean it will go down that far um, the oil pan that I have for it out of the Willis pickup is a uh, low hanging oil pan so I gotta come up with some. Uh, I, I gotta do something with the motor mounts to lower the front end. It's at um, too much of an angle, um, so I'm getting excited. Yep, super excited. Um, so yeah, um, I. I kind of like in this whole kit bashing thing. Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, the the Willis pickup that was my first. I mean, really, my first ever. Uh, if you want to call it like a true kit bash, um, you know, I'm sure everybody. I mean, I've been guilty of. I think I said before, I've bought an, or I have bought yeah, entire models, wasted money on entire models for a set of rims, or an intake manifold, or um, a set of headers, or, you know, just whatever. Um, 
I mean, not always have I done that. It's just like certain things. Well, like those set of rims, those those special Chevy rims, the ones that are um, like these set of rims has been featured on more than just this car. Um, it, they've been on a couple different vehicles, and um, I've bought in for those rims, just those rims, many of times, and I put them on, you know, like, um, my Camaro with, you know, I built a Camaro with them uh, that was mini-tubbed, and, um, you know, this is super wide tires, but they were the thin, um, not the super, not the, the big, thick wall, wall, like, the sidewall like that, but the thinner sidewall, um, that came on the, uh, there was a Chevy 1500 step side that you can build two different ways. You can build a stock or you can build it with these deep dish and it had these special tires on the back and I love those tires and I wish I had those tires because, you know, they, they look great, you know, when you put a, the right set of deep dish on there and you put them in and you got it tucked underneath the car, um, they just looked fantastic and I, and I absolutely loved them. I wish I had more tires like that. I wish I had a truck like that. Um, I've been searching around. Model Roundup has them, those er 80s and early 90s Chevy Silverados. And man, they are so expensive. And like, I just, I really want a crew cab dually because I've wanted to build one with the rig rims and slam down and um, just you know they're they're so expensive that I just haven't gotten them so but yeah I mean that's what I that's what I'd really like to do or at least just have one of those old Chevy the, those that style Chevy and then you know so I can at least you know have one to slam on the ground I really did love those trucks I had probably a dozen of those trucks, um, those step sides, um, man, and it just kills me, the USA 1 body style, that's how I, how I always used to recall it, um, so, anyways, now that I've, uh, overdrawn myself, I've had, uh, too much caffeine today, and, uh, like I said, I just got excited on the way that looked, it looks so killer, and I'm so stoked to, to get working on it, it's, it's like I said, it's just, just a slow and I'm learning curve. I'm I want to do a lot to it, but I don't want to do too much, and I don't want to um I don't want to burn myself out. So I have plenty of kits. I have plenty of kits to keep me busy. Um, so I mean that one's not going to get done soon. There will be updates on it, but. Um, that was just one of the things I thought I had been thinking about, and I, while I had it in my head, I had to do it, and it came out awesome. I didn't rush it. I took my time. Like I said, the, my first cut wasn't exactly straight, because um, it's only like the second or third time that I've done something like that, and I'm the second time I've done something like that. The first time was I took the original Monaco wheel and I actually shortened it to fit into a regular tire. And it came out not the way I wanted it to. But I was okay with it because it was the first time I tried it and it wasn't anything that I couldn't fix. I still have the rims, I can still fix them. So, um, but yeah. So, anyways, comment, rate, subscribe, and... I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.